Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, March 7, 2024. 23 degrees at 8.07 a.m. and I am your host, Fuck Come All. And I'm a sinner. I'm powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That's probably just a touch of lung cancer, a couple of aspirin and a glass of orange juice, and I'll be raring to go. Oh, boy. Another clear morning, Grandfather Sun is rising and shining, and we welcome the light and warmth. I am here with Brother Prince and co-star, Maxi, who's had his glucosamine and went outside this morning. Brother Prince and co-star, Sullivan, he went outside also. Brother Prince and co-star, Michael, is upstairs, as is sister Princess and co-star, Elsie. Oh boy, I slept so-so. Still got a bit of that pain that I had in my right shoulder when I got up yesterday. It, I worked most of it out, but it's still there a little bit. Uh-oh, Sully's on the move. Breaking news. Breaking news. Where are you off to, Sol? Tired of my bullshit, hey? Oh well. So anyway, this morning we're having some Costa Rican coffee from the old mill coffee roasters. And I'm not sure if I like it or not. I like the medium roast Tanzanian pea berry. I like the dark roast Congo, but this is a dark roast and I'm not so sure I'm real fond of it. And that's why I just bought a small pack of it, enough to make a carafe or two. Yeah, but they didn't have what I wanted and you know, Change is good, as they say, and it's good to get out of the box and try new things. And I have had it before, but I can't remember. I haven't had it in a long time, and that's probably why I didn't care for it. <laughs> anyway, we had about a dozen city chickens out there feeding when we first got up. We threw out the last of the food for the wildlife. The uh, chorus out there is getting diverse more diverse as spring approaches. We're starting to see grackles, blackbirds, red-winged blackbirds, the usual chickadees, cardinals, doves, the city chickens, and the little john birds as I call them, but more and more. Mr. Squirrel was out there yesterday too after we went off the air. Mr. Black Squirrel. And that's the kind of diversity I like. When it's just checking a box just for the sake of doing it, not a big fan of that at all. Not at all. But any, pretty much any creature is qualified and welcome here to come visit us and enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner in our yard. Anyhow, where do we begin today? We've finished our prayers, we've finished our readings. Uh, Maxie had his glucosamine. I gave some l to Michael. I don't know if he ate it. His eye is still not well. It is getting better, but I don't know if I keep putting that antibiotic in there, if it's, if he's going to build up a tolerance to it. The creatures that are infecting his eye are going to build up a tolerance to it. Who knows? But it took over a month last year for it to get well, and it's been about a month now. So we'll see what happens. But physically, his appetite's good. He's been going outside. And anyway, hopefully he'll come and poke his nose around the corner and visit us this morning. Grace us with his presence. And with that, we're going to take a little break. Welcome back. And I don't really mean that. And I didn't mean it when I said good morning. And I really didn't. I don't care if you watch this or not. I think you're sick if you do. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, we baked some bread yesterday. 
we did some stretching and yoga and core work. Still trying to get rid of all that sub-Q fat we're never going to get rid of. Did some errands by bicycle, took some recyclables back to the Aplex bins and went and delivered a loaf of bread to Keith. Pedaled over to Marine Market, visited the guys there, picked up a few items. We may end up back there today and the rest of the afternoon we just spent hanging out with the cats and watching some videos and trying to stay away from what passes for news. Watched a good one or started watching a good one with the Hodge twins and Pearl. They were doing an interview with her. And I like both both those. I love the twins and I like Pearl. She's good. And I found this Marina that did firearms reviews. This woman was smoking white hot and she's, she's into firearms and I thought that was good. So I watched a couple of her videos. Um, we started reading yesterday a, the 12 stages of humility from our Always We Begin a Good, Always We Begin Again book, and we're going to start, or we're going to read a couple more today. Uh, last night we read to the cats from the book A Beautiful Place to Die. We've got three chapters to go on that one. And we finished a puzzle that we were struggling with. I think I put it down two weeks ago or so because it was just kicking my butt. It was a diagramless puzzle, but we kicked its ass last night, got it finished. So that was big excitement. Probably start another one tonight. They're very challenging trying to figure out where where everything goes. So I, the thing is, you know, I read the clues and I know most of the answers, but it's like, where do they go? And it's tricky figuring it out, but it is good for the old brain. Slow down, it going softer, doing things like that, challenging it. Uh, we did gather up more of our tax information yesterday also. We're about ready to go out there. I'm thinking today I might just drop it in, into an envelope and mail it to the tax prep man, but I don't know. I just do not know. There's some city chickens coming back to sit on the wires. And with that, we're going to take another break. All right, we're back again. Sully's in one of his favorite spots. We still got to give Maxi his meloxidil. He's still over there. Nothing out there feeding. Uh, another activity from last night. We watched the classic Where Eagles Dare. Started watching it on the Canopy Channel. What's not to like there? Richard Burton, Clint Eastwood, and Ingrid Pitt. Yeah, she's smoking. Quite a story she had, too, if you look into her history. Surviving a concentration camp. and Yeah, but anyway. Uh, and looking what passes for news today, it's the usual crap, and I'm laughing. New York City's got the National Guard guarding the subways. Who, you know, and it's just like the border thing and everything else that's going on. It's all smoke and mirrors, but create a problem and then put the sol get a solution, you know. Who, who'd ever thought that not holding people accountable for criminal activity could lead to uh, what's happening there? Maxie's on the move and coming back to get in the plumb spot. But anyway... And then Potato Head's going to be giving a talk tonight. I don't know. I wish these people that are exploiting us and using us and grifting us would uh, be held accountable. They have all their committees and everything all the time, but nothing ever comes of them. And we need to stand up. We deserve better than we're getting. I'm, I'm fed up with this. I really am. And I'm not the only one in that 34 trillion in debt that they keep saying that we are not enough money to run the government and all that it's like it's, maybe it needs to stop you know that's the real issue why isn't anybody doing anything about stopping that and coming up with a solution that might work instead of just throwing money at everything and printing more and throwing more and we got all these people coming in and we don't have the infrastructure to support who's here now and yeah, it just, it's a joke. It's a bad joke. 
so I'm going to have to get away from it. But yeah, Decoy Voice had a good video again yesterday. I like that guy's channel. And anyway, uh, we're going to take a break and we're going to read those two more things about humility. All right, we're at, back to to read some more about the 12 stages of humility. Yesterday we read one and two. Today we're going to start on number three. The third stage of humility is to accept our limitations even to death. To accept that there are events outside our control which will control us and that have ultimate power over us and that our will will not be done. The fourth stage of humility is to be patient and to maintain a quiet mind even in the face of inequity, injury, and contradiction, preserving the certitude that we are continuously shaped by experience and refined by fire and accordingly to be thankful even for injuries. The fifth stage of humility is not to conceal our faults, but to be ruthlessly honest with ourselves and about ourselves. For to lie to ourselves or to others is to falsify our relationship with true life. The sixth stage of humility is to be content with the work we are given to do and with the circumstances of our lives, however unfair or demeaning, consistently bearing in mind that it is our outlook that confers value on our experiences and that nothing that occurs to us is intrinsically good or bad. So there, put that in your pipe and smoke it, and we'll read some more of those tomorrow. That was up through number six now. All right, we're back for our closing segment now. Maxie's still sitting here. We just put on some more coffee, more of that Costa Rican coffee. We decided we're going to finish it up because, to be quite frank, it's not worth waking up to, and I don't want to wake up to it tomorrow. I'm going to get into a different flavor. I think i got a little bit of Congo left, but I'll try and seek out some more. I haven't had any Colombian in a while from GFS, the Mosaic brand, so maybe we'll swing by there and get some beans. But uh, yeah, on top tap for today, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. It's No Complaint Thursday. We're going to enjoy some more time here this morning sitting with these loves. Hopefully some cardinals will come sing to us. Uh, I might bake bread again today. I'm waiting for a package to arrive. And I think I'm going to go to the range again and do some shooting and pick up a little trash out there. So, anyway. Yeah, Potato Head's giving a State of the Union speech tonight. I'm going to try and read it off the teleprompter. But yeah, we deserve better and we got to get rid of what's going on. How can we do it? Get rid of the grifters and get people back in office and get this country back in the direction the Founding Fathers meant for it to be. And I guess that's one other thing I thought about before, before we close. I think this, it is, it's deliberate. It really is, and it's scary. Because any idiot can see the policies and things, you know, you just think through, well, gee, we'll let criminals out on no bail. Yeah, like that's, I don't know. It's deliberate. It's got to be deliberate. Starting in the summer of the love and letting all the cities burn down with no consequences for anyone. It's just getting worse and worse. And I just wish there was something we could all do to agree on and get rid of the bullshit. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. You got anything to add, Sully? I've been all over. I've been saying more than the usual line of bullshit I spew and if you stuck with me this long, you really need help. So, from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, twisted, confused, convoluted, grieving, happy, and grateful soul. Piss off. Happy No Complaint Thursday, and thanks for not tuning in. Hey, Mackie, look at those sweet boys. Yeah, piss off. <laughs>